walking here in the rain to go see uh, this guy I met yesterday, a flamenco singer and guitar player. He's gonna perform at a little spot called the Argyle Cellar Bar. So we're gonna go check it out. Me and Salome and Danilo Oliveira all traveled back over to the hotel to see the uh, headlining performance of that same dance group. And my new friend Salome was a dancer as well. And she was really into ballroom and swing dancing. And there was an event going on at the rugby club across town after this performance. So after the flamenco performance, we took a ride across town to go check out this uh, swing dancing event that was going on at the rugby club. <laughs> Last day here at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, and we're gonna go to a show in about 30 minutes. And I'm gonna see if I can talk to some of the people handing out flyers, see if they can give us a little capsule of, uh, of what their show is. We're at the Gilded Balloon Tevia Square that has many different uh, pop-up venues for the, for the Fringe. Uh, we are a flamingo called Frank. We're bringing our sketch comedy show. This is our final night. We're very excited to uh, to bring it to the people. Um, this is our. It's been three years since our last full show. So this is a compilation of our favourite sketches all together. Lots of wordplay, lots of silliness. It's very good, if I do say so myself. Um, and yeah, it'd be lovely to see you there. I will check it out for sure. Charlie Virgos. I'm an American comedian. I uh, paid $1,200 to give you a flyer. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I tell stories. I'm from the South. Uh, I moved there from New York in 2020 and lived with my parents. <laughs> and there's a lot of stories about that. Uh, uh, I'm actually Edinburgh's only comedian. I'm actually the only <laughs> comedian at this festival. Uh, yeah. And uh, like I said, my show has outlets where you can charge your phone. And I'm probably the only comedian in a good mood at this late in the fringe, <laughs> which is, uh, is it, you know, they, they all seem exhausted, everybody else. I got some sleep last night. Uh, so Awesome, thank yeah. you. And how can people get in, t in touch with you? I am at C Virgos on Instagram. Uh -huh. You can tell I'm good because my follower to following ratio is great, you know. A lot more followers than I'm following, so even though it's not much. It's still a good ratio, that's what they say. Awesome. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and I also have an album called Barbecue Rich on Apple Music and Amazon. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. You ready? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Queer comedy takes on uh, cancel culture, toxic masculinity, and uh, Jordan Peterson and those all right assholes takes a big shit on their head. It's a fun mix of uh, stand up, uh, storytelling, and multimedia, some really great makeup, and uh, some spinning frog animations. Definitely gonna love it. Awesome, awesome. Right. You can check it out. Thank you. Short addendum free show, Banshee Labyrinth, 855 every night till the end of the French. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you want to know about my show? All right, um, it is a it's a misadventure story told with love. That is how I how I talk about the show. I spent a lot of time in the Calais jungle, living with refugees and migrants, and um, mainly getting pissed and stoned with them. I'm not gonna lie. And then I was arrested and kicked out of France. Um, this is in the week prior to the jungle being demolished. So it's, it's quite a funny show, you know. It's, uh, yeah, it's not a. Uh, not everyone's cup of tea, I guess. Like, uh, All right, I not it. like humour. Uh, right. If you want to get in touch with me, um, hang on. They can find me like a uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know the usual. Yeah. All right. And that is how you spell my name. There you go. Wow. Bloody her. Now the friend that I made at the very first flamenco show, his name was Jeff Robb at the performance venue that he had been working in was having its rap party uh, to celebrate the end of the festival. A little party to commemorate having done daily performances for weeks of their craft, whether it was music or theater or comedy. <laughs> It was all thanks to that first flamenco show that I went to at the festival where I met Jeff, Daniello Oliveira, met Salome the dancer. So the friends that you make at the festival can really change your trajectory and your experience there. Which is awesome.